Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about syllabication. Syllabication is what we would start every single day off with, where we had our two words on the board, and we would go through together as a class and determine how many syllables there were, and then we would determine what syllable type was used in each of those words. So since we haven't done this in a few weeks, we're going to go over our anchor chart that we used um, when we did this each day. So to figure out our syllable types, we use the acronym CLOVER that you see over here on the side. So the C stands for CLOSE. That's when you have a short vowel sound. So the example for this one will be CAT. The A in CAT says A, which is short. Short vowels say their sound, not their name. The L stands for consonant followed by LE. So for example, table, you have the B in the second syllable followed by LE. So that would be consonant LE. The O stands for open. That's when you have a long vowel sound. So our example for this one is tiger. T I, the I says its name. When a vowel is open, it says its name or when it's long, it says its name. V stands for when there's two vowels teamed up together to make one single sound. So the example that we used is team. The E-A together says E to eam. Then we have E, which is a long vowel sound that's using the magic E. That E makes that vowel say its name. So the example that we have is cake, K-A. That E makes the A say its name. And then finally, we have R, which stands for an R controlled vowel. Of R controlled stands for a vowel followed by an R. So our example is B R D. And for R controlled, it can be A R, E R, I R, and sometimes U R. So we're going to do a few together. Just like we did in class, we're going to follow the exact same steps that we did when we did it all together. So the first word that we're going to do is this word. Say this word out loud for me. Bonus. So the first thing you do when you begin to syllabicate a word is you identify what. What do we look for? Good. We identify our vowels. So our vowels in this word are going to be O and U. So we're going to underline them label them. Then what is our next step that we follow? Good. We're going to draw our bridge between our vowels. So then we have to figure out where are we going to split this? Where's our two syllables? If you clap out the word bonus, bonus, you split it where? Good. You're going to split it right after the O and before the N. So in the first syllable, B O, is the O long or short? Remember, long says its name, short says its sound. Good. It's long. If a vowel is long, is it an open syllable type or a closed syllable type? Awesome. It's open. Okay, then we move on to our second syllable, nuss. Nuss. Is that vowel in that syllable open, closed, long, short? What are you thinking? Well, let's first by, start by identifying if it's long or short. Good, it's short vowel sound. So if it's a short vowel sound, what syllable type will we have? Very good. Closed. You are going to have to excuse Ms. Crenshaw's messy handwriting. All right, let's do another one together. That one was too easy for y'all. All right, the next word we're going to do is this word. I want you to say this word out loud. Good, this word is perform, perform. So first we're gonna start by identifying 
Very good. We're going to identify our vowels, which are E and O. So let's label them. Then what's the next step after you label vowels? Good. Draw your bridge. Okay. Then we're going to split it, but we have to figure out where. Again, let's clap it out. Perform. Where do you hear that we're clapping it? Perform. Good. We're going to split it between our two consonants, between the R and the F. Okay. So let's look at the first part of this word. Per. What syllable type is it? when you have a vowel followed by an R. Very good, very good. R control. Okay, let's look at the second part of our word. Form. Form. Again, we have a vowel followed by an R, so it's going to be very good. R controlled again. So it's actually R control for both syllables of this word. All right, we're going to do one more together. The last one we're going to do for today is rabbit. Rabbit. So again, just follow our steps that we always did in class. We identify vowels, label them. Then we draw our bridge. Now we have to decide where to split it. The easiest way is to clap it out. Grab it, grab it. We're going to split between what two letters? Look at it for a second. Where should we split this word? Very good. We're going to split it between our two B's, between these two consonants. So let's look at the first syllable we have. Rab. Is that A, a long or a short vowel sound? Good. Short. If a word has a short vowel sound, then what syllable type are we going to be using? Great job. You guys are killing it. Closed. Okay, let's look at the last syllable of this one. B, it. Is the I long or short? Is the I long or short? Good, short. So if the vowel is short, does that mean it's open or a closed syllable? Good, closed. So we're only going to do three for today. Each day I'm going to video, I'm going to do three words with you guys. Keep up the good work, guys.